بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از پروفیسر ڈاکٹر رضوان جمیل قریشی ویلکم ٹو دا لیکچر نمبر فائیو آف سسٹم انالیسس اینڈ ڈیزائن کورس آئی ایم کورنگ دا امپورٹنس آف پروجیکٹ مینجمنٹ اینڈ پروجیکٹ مینجمنٹ از ویری امپورٹنٹ ریگارڈنگ دا سسٹم ڈیولپمنٹ ان آڈر ٹو میٹ دا کسٹمر ریکوائرمنٹس اینڈ ٹو سیٹسفائی دا بجٹ اینڈ ٹائم کسٹینٹس سو اٹس اے اسکل اینڈ اٹس ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹو لرن ہاؤ ٹو decide about the project customer will send a request formal request to three or four software companies which is called ssr as for superman as for spider man are for rat so spider man and superman are fighting for rat no it's a system service request so a formal system service request is sent by the customer to software companies three or four software companies to submit feasibility report or proposal we call it project specs or baseline document or project proposal like for academically we call it project proposal in which software companies will submit feasibility study feasibility report to the customer that how much project will cost how much time it will take and etc then what's a project project is a set of interrelated activities to accomplish a task and then what is project management application of knowledge skills and tools in order to meet or exceed stakeholders needs or expectations from the project that's project management by project management institute from usa application of knowledge skills and tools on project activities to meet or exceed the stakeholders needs or expectations from the project that's the project management then there is a role of project manager normally software companies don't afford system analyst so they hire project managers and project manager is responsible to lead the project from the initial feasibility study till deployment including the planning including the analysis design implementation and then the maintenance and it is done through sdlc system development life cycle that's the deliverable so there are several activities by the project manager including the customer interaction feasibility preparation resource constraints what methodology and tools he will use then how to manage the people how to deal with the contractors and vendors then the change management then the what is the system development life cycle he is deploying using the methodology what is the technology breakthrough and meeting the needs or expectations of the customer that it is functionally implementable and usable by the customer so there are phases in the project management process by phase 1 initiation phase 2 planning phase 3 execution and phase 4 is the close down there are four phases in the project initiation as i just described few minutes before that customer will submit a formal request system service request that contains what is the problem customer is facing and what is the need its urgency or its a normal request and then it is upgradation or it is totally reengineering from changing the old software to the new software so that's all about the initiation so initiation team is the relationship with the customer from the software company point of view 
project initiation plan, management procedures, project management environment, project workbook, that is the project initiation in terms of assessing the size, scope, complexity and the defined procedures. Then phase two is the planning, including the project scope, definition, alternatives, feasibility, divide the project into manageable tasks, resource estimation, develop preliminary schedule, communication plan, standards and procedures, identify and assess risk. So risk management is there, preliminary budget creation, develop a statement of work and baseline project plan. That's regarding the planning. Then some components of project planning, including the statement of work, the contract between the information system staff and the customer, the baseline project plan contains estimation of the scope, benefits, schedules, cost, risk and resource requirement. And then the preliminary budget, the cost benefit analysis, outlining plan, expenses and revenues. The work breakdown structure, you divide the large task into small and manageable tasks in terms of divide and conquer approach. Then scheduling diagram including the Gantt chart or network diagram, the horizontal bars defining the task that how much time you will do take for planning, how much time for analysis, how much design and how much for implementation or you have pie chart or you have PERT chart is there. PERT stands for project or program evaluation and review technique defined by NASA, introduced by NASA program evaluation and review technique and it contains boxes and links in terms of network so which task has dependency like for example activity number activity duration activity name start date end date and then like planning is the first task then analysis second task design third task implementation fourth task maintenance fifth task for example Thank you very much. Jazakallah khair. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum.